So you came home, you opened the garage door with your remote, but when you push the button to close it, it just blinks and it doesn't move, or it moves a couple inches and then it reverses back. Well, you got a problem with your photo safety eyes. A lot of times they get hit by a garbage can and a basketball, something simple, the vibration of the track over the course of the life of the door. So let's take a look at how we can save ourselves 90 to 150 bucks. Here we go. So at the base of each door, you're gonna have a photo safety sense cell. So on that side, there's one over there. If you creep down, you can see that there's a light. That one's amber. And this one is green. These were instituted in 1992 to ensure that the door wasn't going to close on a kid or a dog or you know, something of that nature. When the door goes up with the remote but refuses to come back down, and you can override these by holding in the wall button, and the door will close. If you hold the button in, the entire way the door travels, you can get the door down. Again, it's telling you, it's the photo safety eyes. So one of a, a few different things has happened. Either you have a break in the wire, or they're misaligned or something's obstructing. Obviously, we looked at the threshold and nothing was in the way. What we do have is this green one, as you can see, blinking and flickering. So what you do is you can loosen this wing nut, manipulate it up and down in that bracket. So when you get that solid green light, it's not flickering or flashing or anything like that, just like that. Tighten the wing nut back down, grab your remote. And watch the door come down. Other causes of the issue, you could have a pull rope hanging off that bottom roller that's interfering with it. Maybe some cobwebs in front of the lens. Dust, dirt, and condensation on the lens. It's a good idea to wipe them down every once in a while. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them.